it is my hope that the government of the day recognize the service rendered to the country by awarding Lorna Simon a national award befitting her status as supervisor of elections for Antigua and Barbuda and her long-standing service to the country. Lorna Elaine Simon has been this country's election supervisor for the past 16 years after becoming the first woman to be appointed to the position in 2003. However, this is a mere fraction of the years of service she's given to the public sector of Antigua and Barbuda. This week marks 50 years since her appointment as junior clerk in the medical division in 1969. Since then, she's served in just about every ministry of government. She's moved to the ranks and has served as permanent secretary in different ministries as well as at the office of the Governor General. Simon says she almost called it quits after participating in a strike about a year after joining the public service. The government at the time, I think, gave persons who didn't strike a month's pay. She says at the time, she applied for a position outside of the public service. However, looking back, she believes she made the right decision by staying. My heart is full when I meet persons with whom I've worked. Um, and they've said, you know, like, you're the best PS we have worked with, and they still call you Madam PS. And um, for today, um, when you look at what my staff has done for me, you know, I'm overwhelmed, and I've worked with a great bunch of people. As a single parent of two boys in 1995, Simon went off to UWE in Barbados, where she acquired her Bachelor of Science degree in public sector management. She thanks family members for sticking by her side and her sons for understanding. So her cousin stayed with, at that time, the younger son was going to school. So it was really like a sacrifice, knowing that, you know, your children are there. They're supervised, yes, but um, you had to do it then because you needed to upgrade your skills um, if you wanted to be promoted. With 50 years of work experience under her belt, Simon advises young people to take advantage of opportunities to expand their learning. And I would make that plea especially to persons within the electoral commission. Staff, if you want to move up the ladder, then you need to get the requisite qualifications. And to the younger persons, stay in school, learn as much as you can. Now, what will she be doing when retirement comes around in two years? Taking some time to relax. I love to travel, I love to cruise, and not getting up out of bed early. I look forward to that. <laughs> I am Jamie J. Roche reporting for ABS News.